Before we get started with today's video, I just want to be transparent with you. I've decided to start running some mid-roll ads during my videos, which is not something I've ever done before. Um, because for me, this has never really been about making as much money possible. That's just not a goal of mine. Um, it's always been about just having this freedom and being able to do something that I enjoy. But over the last few months throughout this quarantine, I've spent a lot of time thinking about my place, about my role in the world and in society. Um, and I've realized that I'm very, very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. And at the same time, there are people who are losing their jobs because of shutdowns. There are people who are being evicted because they can't pay rent anymore because of what's going on right now. And I've also realized that I'm in this position that I have this reach and this influence and this opportunity to help. I have an opportunity to help people. And right now, I don't know really exactly what that looks like in the long term. Um, but for now, that's manifesting as uh, things like just sending money to people who need it. It's something I did last month on Twitter. It's something I'm about to do again. Um, our Congress here in the U.S. just started a three to four week recess, a vacation. Our Congress, our Congress here in the U.S. is going on vacation right now without having successfully passed any kind of COVID relief bill, any kind of um, relief package. They're, they're going on vacation without deciding how to help the American people who have been impacted by this pandemic. So right now, what I feel I can do is at least just send a little bit of money to anyone who needs it. If I can, if I can help someone buy groceries, and, and that's one less thing that they have to worry about right now, then, then that's what I want to do. So hopefully it's not too inconvenient, um, but I've just recognized this as an opportunity to turn a small amount of time into potentially a large amount of help. So that's, that's what's happening. Just wanted to let you know. Anyway, here's the video. Today is Friday. It's the start of Unova week in Pokemon Go and I'm not inside my apartment. Can you believe it? I know. It's been a long time since I've done this, but I had this sort of revelation yesterday. Uh, one of my friends, his name's Wayne, it's his backyard where I built the mini ramp and he helped me. We've known each other since we were really little. We grew up next door to each other. We've always skated together, so the mini ramp was kind of like this joint dream that we had. Anyway, what I'm getting to is uh, Wayne just recently started playing Pokemon Go again and he's super into it. And yesterday, instead of skating the mini ramp, we decided to go skate at a nearby college. And that's when I realized colleges here in the US are closed. There's no one on campus right now, but colleges are also a great place to play Pokemon Go. Typically they have a lot of Pokestops, a lot of gyms, a lot of spawns, and there's no one there. So for today's video, Wayne and I will be playing Pokemon Go safely socially distant at a college with no one around. It's perfect. We made it. We're here. We're here on campus and uh, I literally just got invited to a raid so I'm, I'm not even, I'm setting up the camera and raiding. Genesect is here obviously as part of Unova week and your best counters are fire types, all the fire types, but mostly Moltres, Reshiram, Chandelure. They have the highest damage output. They resist almost all of uh, Genesect's moves. Chandelure especially will resist everything including Hyper Beam. There's a Hyper Beam taking me out though. But Shiny Genesect, excuse me Entei, Shiny Genesect is also available in Pokemon Go, and it's a beautiful shiny to go along with another new beautiful shiny this event, Rog and Rolla, or more specifically, Gigalith. But there it goes, Genesect. So I think 1916 is perfect, 
1855 is not perfect, but first Genesect shiny check. I'm wearing the red tie-dye. Oh, new merch. What? Yeah, new merch. Link in description. Duh, not shiny, but also pretty straightforward throw. Not too difficult there. This won't be Pokedex because I've already caught one. And actually, I've got another to catch. There we go. Done. First Genesect of the event. And IVs. No, 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 no. As far as uh, colleges go, it's a pretty small, pretty small school here, Cal State Dominguez Hills, but a few gyms, lots of Pokestops, lots of spawns, including Boldor, Shiny, Check, no, Rog and Rolla. Did I say Boldor earlier? Well, you know what I meant. We have a few, we got a few new Pokemon released during this event. That's not where my new Pokemon are. Here they are. Uh, that's Seawaddle, which is, should be right here. That's the library. And Cottony, which is nearby. And then we also have Emolga, which is gonna be a little bit more rare. And Bufalant, again, uh, is gonna be a regional Pokemon. So that's only around New York City. And I don't know exactly how far that extends, but I guess we can head on the Silf Road pretty soon and find out. Now, where is this seawaddle? Found it. Seawaddle, new, grass and bug type. Ooh, how difficult is this gonna be to catch? Oh, easy. All right, I'll pine up, throw the candies. I do actually really like Seawaddle's final evolution. It evolves twice, once to Swadloon, and then again to Lee Vanny. I like Lee Vanny. There it is, Pokedex, entry number one of the day. We should be able to get at least one more in Cottony, if we're lucky, Emolga. Definitely not Bufalant because I'm nowhere near New York City. But there's Seawaddle, cute little leaf bug. Another, another raid invite, another chance for the red shiny Genesect. I guess there's yellow and orange and even rainbow available. Extra merch plug. Speaking of merch plugs, I got the fanny pack today too because I haven't been outside in so long. I finally get a chance to wear it since I need to carry a power bank. So uh, trainer tips fanny pack. I'm just a walking merch plug today. Limited quantities still available. This is, a, this is looking like, oh, this is a trio right here. I didn't even realize. Uh, Genesect is actually an easy duo. You can't even solo it if you just have a best friend with you in the lobby. So I guess, I guess mock solo is kind of the term people use but very, very easy raid boss to take down, especially considering it's double weak to fire. So again, fire types are pretty much the only Pokemon you wanna use against Genesect, and it's a very, very easy raid boss. And if you don't have anyone to raid with, don't worry, we will be doing raids on my Twitch channel. I'll be hosting raids all week, so come on over to Twitch. There's another plug, just full of plugs. Uh, wow, Arcanine. I'm really just in here with the recommended. But uh, yeah, I'll be streaming. Anytime I'm streaming and there's raids around, I'll be hosting raids. So come through, hang out on Twitch, do some Genesect raids with us. Hopefully uh, it won't take as long to get the shiny as it did for Deoxys. Speaking of which, here's a quick summary of my Enigma week. I got the Deoxys after 38 or so raids. Finally. I almost don't even care. <laughs> almost. Hello, people of the internet. Hello, YouTube. I'm gonna say it was like 
almost 40 raids that this took. 1763, it's not even good. It's not the worst, but wow. And then I got one shiny bronze ore, which was totally unexpected. So unexpected that I didn't even have my Pokemon Go screen mirror up. Ooh, bronze ore. Oh my god. What? What? Why? This is the worst shiny clip ever. I'm literally like, I don't even have my screen capture. 1887, so this is a little bit better in IVs, but is it shiny? Nope. Also, what is a shiny reaction gonna look like? I'm just thinking like, what is a shiny reaction gonna look like with a mask on? I'm just gonna have to go like really big eyes or something. I guess we'll figure it out when it happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this. get another new one cottony all right cottony another uh grass type to go along with well let's give it a let's give it a, a solid try with the ultra ball cottony evolves once to whimsicott whimsicott i know is good in vgc i don't know if it's going to be great in pokemon go pvp i'll have to check on that but i'll let you know there's pokedex entry number two for the day check the IVs. It does need a Sunstone to evolve, so hopefully you haven't trashed all of yours. There's no raids here, unfortunately. I was hoping there would be a raid here. Oh, whoa. What is going on over there? They're super stacked. What? These are definitely like the raids that I, the remote raids that I did? Is that, that was the gym that it was at. Just a weird visual bug, I guess, that's showing the Genesect here on my map, even though it's not, the gym's not even in this country? Anyway, I was hoping for raids here so that I could help Wayne get a Genesect, um, but no raids. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're still hanging out. There's no one here. sitting down for this one because I'm about to be shocked by a sh by an ordinary Genesect. Nice. Oh. Nice. I guess that's it for uh, school. School's over. Time to go skate the mini ramp. But I do have a 10K egg hatching for the first time in who knows how long. That's not at all what I wanted to see out of that. Cool. Put something else in an egg. And let's go skate. This camera's about to die. I'm sore. I didn't get it on camera, but I I was playing real life Fall Guys on the mini ramp yesterday. Uh, definitely bruised. My ankle hurts. My knee hurts. It's great. I love it. But there is one last thing I wanted to do uh, in this video. Throwback Challenge Celebration 2020. This is the research that rewards Genesect. And I saved it um, because that's what I do, but also because now potentially I could get shiny Genesect from this. And the reason that's cool is because this Genesect from research is level 15, which means it comes in below 1500 CP and could be used in Great League. Not that it, it's going to be great in Great League, but it would be cool to have a shiny Genesect in Great League. Now, I was on step like two of five. I really didn't, I hadn't done anything here. 
Then I got to step four or five, catch a dragon type, and I waited all day yesterday, and I looked, and there's no dragon types in raids right now, and uh, no dragons are spawning right now. But then I remembered I have all this research, and I started going through it, and uh, shout out to GoFest 2019 Yokohama. If, if I'm correct, this should be an Altaria. So, the benefits of not ever completing my special research coming through right here. By not completing my special research for Genesect, I got stuck. By not completing my special research from GoFest last summer, I unstuck myself. Catch a dragon type. Done. How's my Altaria? Eh. So with that, I can finish up this step. Snivy, oh, haven't seen you all week. And I can claim this reward. This Genesect can be shiny, and that is confirmed. Oh, please, I would really, I would really like for this to be shiny. I would be so happy if this was shiny. Okay. Oh, wait, it's the next, it's the next stage. Genesect is the next stage. But this is actually... Uh, unintentionally, a new Pokedex entry for today's video. One that I forgot about and wasn't expecting. But I haven't caught Audino yet. This will be another new Pokedex entry for the video. And one that's been available in Pokemon Go for quite some time at this point. Alright, Professor. Yes. Uh, research. Research. Unova. Reason. Re region. Yes. So now I can claim some TMs. A reward. Galarian Stunfisk. Very nice. Also, I keep forgetting I have this Spinda task. Five great curveballs in a row. I keep forgetting. Alright, Stunfisk. There's another one that I'll probably end up uh, trading with Holly to reroll IVs. And now, I actually have to complete a research. Got some glasses. Got some glasses. Okay, if this Genesect is shiny, I would be really, really happy. Oh, no. I really wanted it. All right, well, 1409. It is Great League eligible, and, you know, most of you have probably already caught this, but here it is. Another Genesect for today's video. No shiny yet, but I will be live on Twitch today. So come through. We'll be doing... Oh my god. We'll be doing raids. We'll be doing raids as they appear on Twitch. So hopefully, hopefully I can get the shiny. Hopefully I can help some of you get the shiny. And hopefully also I can actually catch this Genesect. If not, I could at least use it to get my five great curveball throws in a row. Maybe I should throw Pokeballs. There's two in a row, three in a row, four, five. Thank you, Genesect, for your help with that. And could you cooperate, though? All right, now I'm just getting fancy and trying to catch it in a Pokeball. Got it. Pokeball. Genesect from the research, not shiny. Quite unfortunate. And, uh, it's an IV spread. All right, so actually with that, I'm going to make the last shiny check, the Spinda task that I finally finished, thanks to that Genesect. Nice. All right, so Unova week is here. Again, I will be raiding Genesect all week. Come through, hang out on Twitch. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.